Dear students of mathematics, semester 2, 2020, University of North Bengal. I am Professor Mananjan Singh, Department of Mathematics, University of North Bengal, India. As you know, due to the attack of COVID-19, all classes have been suspended to resist spread of coronavirus. In this situation, I have decided to prepare a few clips that will cover an easy portion of the syllabus. So follow me. If you have any doubt after listening this clip, you may note down for the time being. I will discuss and settle it immediately after restarting the classes. So don't worry, follow me. We have discussed four kind of uh, compactness. One is compactness in classical sense. Another is countable compactness. Next one is sequential compactness and at last we have discussed limit point compactness and we have seen that compactness and sequential compactness are different in the sense that a topological space which is compact may fail to be sequentially compact and a sequentially compact space may not be compact and we have considered uh, the example i raised to i where i is the closed bounded interval 0 1 so i raised to i becomes the uncountable product of closed bounded interval 0 1 with itself so by Tikhonov's theorem it is compact and we have seen this is not sequentially compact. To show sequential compactness may not imply compactness, we have considered the example S omega, which is the minimal uncountable Euler well order set, every section of which is countable, and every countable subset of S omega has an upper bound in S omega. This S omega in order topology is sequentially compact but not compact we also seen that every compact space is limit point compact so compactness implies limit point compactness but there are limit point compact spaces which are not compact for example we have seen this r tau d where tau d is a topology on r consisting of all right open rays including r and phi this is limit point compact but not compact we have considered one more example for showing this this is the space x which is the product of the discrete space of natural numbers with the indiscrete space of uh, this two number 0 and 1 this is also limit point compact but not compact then we have seen that every sequentially compact space is countably compact but a countably compact space may not be sequentially compact and the example is i raised to i this is countably compact because from the very definition of compact space and countably compact space it is clear that compact space are countably compact since i raised to i is compact so i raised to i is countably compact but it is not sequentially compact we have seen so this example i raised to i also and witness to show countable compactness may not imply sequential compactness next we have seen that a countably compact space may not imply compactness and s omega is an example for this it is countably compact because this S omega is sequentially compact and every sequentially compact is countably compact. So S omega is countably compact but it is not compact. We have seen. 
we also seen that every countably compact space is limit point compact we have proved but a limit point compact space may not be countably compact and an example is r tau ray this r tau ray this is limit point compact but not countably compact next we have shown that every sequentially compact space is limit point compact but there there is a limit point compact space which is not sequentially compact so limit point compactness may not imply sequential compactness in general i raised to i this is an example for showing this i raised to i is limit point compact because it is compact and compactness implies limit point compact so i raised to i is limit point compact but it is not sequentially compact so in this way we have established relation between any two kinds of compactness among these four now if we convert this diagram into Venn diagram we will see that from this diagram it is clear that every compact space is limit point compact every sequential compact is limit point compact every counterly compact space is limit point compact so this limit point compact space collection of limit point compact spaces will be biggest among them so this is so this is the collection of all limit point compact spaces then all other three collections will be included with within this collection we also see that compactness and sequential compactness are different so we should draw these two collection in this way that this is the collection of all mm, complex species and this is the collection of all sequential complex species now every complex species countably complex every sequential complex species countably compact so these two family will be included within the family of all countably complex space so we should draw this so this is the family of all countably compact spaces now for the time being let me consider only these three kind of compactness actually we will see that in some special situation um, these three compactness are equivalent okay before going to prove this let me draw another venn diagram including only these three compactness so we will see that this is the collection of all limit point compact spaces and if this is the collection of all sequential complex spaces then this is the collection of all countably compact spaces so if we consider only these three kinds of compactness we will get this kind of Venn diagram so every sequentially compact space is countably compact every countably compact space is limit point compact from this every sequentially compact space is same now in some situation we will see that limit point compactness will imply sequential compactness and the situation is this if we confine ourselves within only first countable t1 spaces first countable t1 spaces if we consider only first countable t1 spaces that is if we forget for the timing about this compact spaces in classical sense if we consider these three uh, compactness then we will see that in case of first countable t1 spaces limit point compactness implies sequential compactness that is if a topological space 
is first countable as well as t1 then if it is limit when compact then it will be sequentially compact so this and in general sequentially compact implies limit when compact so this family and this family will coincide so these three will coincide that is uh, in case of first countable t1 spaces this limit point compactness sequential compactness and countable compactness all these three kind of compactness will be equivalent and we will prove this equivalence in the next clip so follow the next clip